Welcome back everybody or welcome if you are new today we're in the 410 sprint cars here at Lernerville We're car number two while Gavin's in here car number one We got Lindy and Brody here that we know we've raced Brett I think recently in these as well so Hopefully we could run pretty well it's gonna be a tough one Lernerville is very hard here I know usually the top lanes fast but these things are so tough to run on the top side I'm not gonna be touching that because uh, I'm gonna go over immediately trying that but We'll see what we can do here in qualifying. Hopefully we can run an all right lap. I'm gonna run the middle this first lap just to try to get a feel for the car and we're gonna run bottom on the second lap to where I ran faster in practice, at least for me. Maybe we'll have a little bit better of a run to the line. A little bit of tire heat as well. Try and hook the bottom. Ah, oh, it straightened out really bad. These, this car feels so loose or so tight at any time. Like, there's no middle ground. It's either super loose or super tight. I cannot find the medium in it at all. So I am really struggling. Gavin hit a hell of a lap, 6.15. Good job on him. We're back there in fifth so far. Lindy out qualified us as well. So good lap by them. And we fall back to six now. So we'll see how we can do in the race. It's a very small field only what 11 of us here so very small field hopefully we can have a decent race in uh 30 laps here could be a lot of cautions or it could be none who knows people just flying off the top won't cause one so i'm hoping that uh that'll be the case all right we are getting ready to roll here we got gavin out in first you can see the rob chan on the back of the wing we got lindy right in front of us hopefully we can have a nice fun race starting on the outside i don't know if that's a good or bad thing honestly these guys want to go too wide actually he's going through the skinny part okay because uh, I like going through that entryway like one at a time because it is sketchy. Especially in these sprint cars, easy to uh, break a tire or something on the front. So definitely be careful leaving pit road. But Gavin out front, good on him. He ran a hell of a lap. He ran a 6.15, right? Yeah, and second place was a 6.63. We were down in the mid nine. So we were like three tens off of him, which is crazy. But hopefully through the race, we could figure a little bit out because uh, still trying to learn the 410s with this uh, model like build that it has on it because they're so different than they used to be when we used to run like the uh, 410 tour races. Those used to be a ton of fun. So still trying to get used to these things. We had a good race going last week at Port Royal until I broke my right front tire and then spun out right in front of Lindy here in front of us and then took him with me as a casualty, unfortunately. But we're on one to green. Hopefully we can survive it. And hopefully uh, there's not too many cautions. If there's not, lap traffic could be at play a uh, big factor in this thing, I feel like. Try not to get right rear right away. I was worried about the start there. And people being under us like that. Cause I was trying to check up for the black and green car in front of us because he was sliding up. They probably thought that they were going to slide in right behind me and they were sliding up for that, I imagine. I tried watching Gavin's on board of his practice lap and I think, oh, Lindy's up in the wall. We all avoided that. I think we might be three wide. Yeah, we're three wide right now. I'm just going to hold bottom because I can't see anybody with the wing on the right. We might be four wide. I think we were three or four wide. I'm not 100% sure, but I don't know how close people are to me. That's what I was saying. That's what I thought. That's absolutely nuts. What a run like that we had there, though. For everybody not to wreck, that's awesome. We got up to fifth, though. Got around the black and green car somehow out of all that. I thought Lindy wrecked the car. But he's still out in front of us. I'm trying to preserve a little bit of my right rear because the tire wear is crazy in these things here. But I'm also just trying to keep the car straight. Like I'm not necessarily going slow on purpose all the way. I just cannot handle this thing like full throttling it down the straightaway on the front stretch at least. Back stretch is not that bad. Front stretch is super slicked off. So I feel like I just spin the tires and we'll almost end up like Lindy did up in the wall. Somebody was down in the uh, infield and uh, got out. They are probably done for. It looks like the nine car of Joseph, unfortunate. 
This is just so tough with how slicked off it is. We were making that bottom work when we were like three or four wide though. That was freaking nuts. I was super shocked by that. Just gotta be careful on the exits because sometimes it wants to snap back to the right. So I gotta be careful on that. And then sometimes it doesn't want to snap back right and just be left. It's weird. I feel like three and four want to be more middle because of that bump on the bottom. Three and or one and two, I don't even know. I thought that guy flipped on the wall, but he flipped right back over. The guy behind me is like ripping the middle lane really well. Middle of the high lane. Really, really well. Because if you could rip the very top, you're probably going to be fast if you can get right on the edge of that thing. I would not be surprised. But with how slicked off it is, I feel like people are just going to fly over the edge. Yep, that was going to happen. Was trying to avoid that, but knew he was going to slide up and I was going to probably get loose if I stayed in the throttle and we would have died. And we get a caution, so we fell back to six there. Everything single file restarts in these things, which is nice, but uh, we'll be back here in sixth place. All right, coming around to one to green. We'll see how we can do. Brody ended up being the one that got biased there at the very end. I'm just struggling in these things, especially with how worn out this track is. Like Port Royal last week, it wasn't like super worn out. It was just straight on the bottom and it was super fast. And then we were slowly moving up in the race while the bottom slickened off and it wasn't that bad at all. But this track, for some reason, it is very tough slicked off. So we'll see if we can adapt to it in this last half of the race. Try not to wreck it. Gavin's going up top in one and two. He might be making that work, honestly, if uh, you can get that right rear on the edge. He is crazy. But he is wheeling that thing up there. Go watch his perspective to see what the hell he's doing. Because he is fast. Lindy's up to third there. Good restart by Lindy getting up to third now. Oh, people are up in that wall on the straightaway. We're all kind of running like the same line about. Gavin's making that outside work pretty well. It's just so sketchy. I'm about to hit that wall. Definitely has speed if you can keep it going straight. Trying to go across that slick line and catch that grip and I about straight line Brody by accident because it just did not want to turn. I was turning my wheel left and it was going straight. Now I got one inside. Try not to fly off the top here. But that actually worked really well on his outside. Got to get a little bit more risky, I guess, and run the more of the top. Because up there's got some speed if you can keep it straight, it seems. One and two, I feel like it's easier in the sprint cars to run up top than three and four, but usually in the late models and everything, it's quite the opposite. I love three and four up top, and one and two is the harder one for me. But hell, we're making it work. I don't know if Brody saw us in the mirror coming, but he went up quick there on the straightaway. I had a lift for him, so I didn't hit the rear end. We're venturing more and more to the outside, trying to get the speed off of it. Gavin looks like he got the lead off of running it up here. Good run by him. He started on pole, lost it, but now it looks like he's got it back. I don't know if he expected me to throw a slider there or what. Oh, he's in the wall. We're going to just go throw a slider here. He's throwing a slider deep in three and four. He made it work. He was a good slider. Oh, that is so sketchy. Try not to hit him in the right rear. We had a little bit of a run, but we didn't really have a lane. So that outside is quick when you hit it right. I think out here will prevail if I can hit it correct. I just need to keep at it. You don't say. We're in sixth as the two car. Of course it's less than optimal. Oh, we should get to his outside here. 
Or maybe not. I think he was just a little out of control on the exit. Oh, that's close. But I think we like kind of hit the uh, curb there, the edge of it, and uh, got a little bit of a speed boost, honestly. That's going to get us back up to fifth. Jesus, I'm getting so loose up there. It is so sketchy. But in one and two, there is a little bit of a lip up there that you can run if you hit it right. I'm definitely catching up to these guys in front of me. Oh, it's white flag time. Oh, boy. That went by very, very fast. Lindy's up there in second now all of a sudden. Wow. Try and hook the inside, see if we can't try to get fourth out of it. No. Yeah, Gavin. That was, that that was, was crazy. crazy. Lindy ends up getting second. Yeah, good run, man. though. That was great. Hell yeah, that was fun. Brody and I had a pretty good side-by-side -side battle up here. Gavin gets the win. Great win, man. That's awesome. We were ripping that outside the last, like, ten laps decently. One and two was very good. I was really happy with that. Three and four was sketchy. But, uh, hey, I'm happy with that. We didn't go off and uh, ran a nice, solid uh, race. I'll take fifth. Good run in there with Brody because uh, I need to go back and see that four wide, though. That was absolutely nuts, I think, that we had. But we were ripping the top there the last couple laps because uh, he got back by us because I got a little sideways, and that just really got on the edge out here. Had a ton of speed and was flying right back by him. But it was super sketchy. And where was it that we were like four wide? I don't, I'm not 100% sure. We'll see in uh, these replays, I would imagine. Some people made contact. But if not, well, I'll go find it manually. Three car with the seven early on. He went to go jump all the way down. Holy crap, that was sketchy. He almost right hooked the seven straight up the track. He would have been gone for. 11 car spinning it out back here. It's lap five. There was no caution for that, I believe. I don't think, I think we only had one caution. This was right behind me. Oh, Brody just like killed both those guys. He got like loose and then tight right on exit and absolutely murdered those people. And that might have been the caution. Yeah, it looks like it was. But I think off of the restart, were we not four wide? Was it not after the uh, restart, maybe? 10 car super sideways, losing it into the tie into the walls. Sorry about that on the straightaway. It's just stuck on the 10 car, and that's the end. So, yeah, where is our 4Y bow? I need to go see if that was 3 or 4Y, because that was absolutely nuts. Because Lindy was up in the wall there. So, we were 3 wide for a little bit. They're out there. Then Brody's coming up, and uh, I thought we ended up 4 wide somewhere. So, let's just see. Did we end up 4 wide at one point through all this? Off of a turn 4 there a little bit for a second? I don't know if that was uh, where it was. Because I think it was off of that corner, basically, was our four wide right there. A four wide moment, like diagonal up the track, which is absolutely crazy. But I thought it was more uh, through the straightaway as well, which is nuts. So that's actually pretty cool. We, were, we just stayed way bottom because I had no clue where anybody was out here. Obviously, I had nobody near me, but uh, could not see out of the right side of where the wing's at at all. But yeah, that was, that was a good four wide there for a second, which is crazy, but... We finish up in fifth, or back in fifth, I should say. Gavin gets back up to the lead. Lindy ended up up in second. Great run by him. Brody and I had a great battle. I wish we had some more laughs because I was starting to catch Brett there at the end. My right rear was 68 at the end. So if you run this, check your right rear just to see what kind of uh, damage you do to it. And uh, that's uh, interesting to see. So let's go see what we end up getting out of the results. I imagine we lose some eye rating out of that, but that's all good. We had a fun race. All right, results are in. It was a low strength of field of only 2,700, but we uh, we had a fun race, and we lost 23 I rating. Not too bad, honestly. Wasn't too bad overall, but Gavin gets the win, gains some I rating there. Lindy gets a big jump in uh, I rating with 68 getting second. We had a fun race, though. Ended up with a 0x. All the top five of us ended up with a 0x, which is awesome to see. Love to see that. Had a pretty clean race. We only had the one caution, I believe. Yeah, the one caution out of the 30 laps, and the, the last half of that race flew by. So that was crazy. The seven car, I don't know if he burnt off his rear tires early and then Lindy kind of saved in the beginning until the caution and then pushed it after that because that outside was absolutely flying. My best lap was only on lap two and then uh, some other people figured it out later and was flying more. So either way, it was fun. I enjoyed it. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the race too because it was a little bit of like running the middle, bottom, and then the top towards the end, which was a lot of fun. Top was super sketchy. I'm so shocked I did not fly off the top because... 
I thought I was going to a couple times in one and two where I got sideways, but it seemed like there was a little bit of a lip up there. I hit and it like jolted me forward. So that was really nice. But hopefully you guys enjoyed the race nonetheless. Appreciate you guys for watching as always, and I'll catch you guys in the next one.